I'm Laura Bracho. This is Season 1, Episode 10 of My Childhood Tales. When I was a child, my brothers and I would often run off, get lost, and get into trouble. This happened so frequently, and we were gone for so long that my mother would get worried. She couldn't keep an eye on us. She couldn't keep us in the house. And so eventually, she would simply call the police. The police couldn't be bothered looking for us all the time, so they would simply announce it on the radio. And they would say, the Fetterspiel kids are lost again. They live on Carew Street. If you see them, give us a call. So I guess this happened rather frequently. I did not realize how frequently until much later. When I was in high school, my older brother started to date one of my friends. When he was introduced to the girl's mother, she had this faraway look on her eyes and she said, would you happen to belong to that Fetterspiel family that I heard about being lost all the time? It was announced on the radio pretty frequently many years ago. Well, we had an unusual name, so I guess that was why she remembered. Yes, we were that gang, the Carew Street Gang, we were called, and that we were often mentioned on the radio. And in fact, years and years later, when I decided to emigrate to Venezuela and get married, one of the requirements for moving to Venezuela was to prove that I had a clean police record. I went to the police station, confident that everything was in order. And I said, look, I've never been arrested. I have a clean record. Please give me a proof of that that I can present to the embassy. They looked through their files and they pulled out a very thick file folder and they said, we have incidents in here that go back to 1948, 1949, 1950. They said, we have so many reports on you and your brothers. I don't think we can give you a clean report. I couldn't believe my ears. I said, hey, I was only three and four years old at the time, five years old at the most. What happened? What is going on? And they said, well, believe it or not, we decided finally, we would finally just keep track of all the times that we had to look for you. And here it is. And I said, could I please have those? I would love to have them for my own records. And they said, sorry, we can't give them to you. They ripped them up and threw them away. So maybe in the end, I do have a police record that is clean and clear because there is no record of it. Thank you for listening.